Hello my friends, once again we mourn the loss of yet another great actor, David McCullum, who passed away on the 25th of September, just gone, and his talents spanned generations. And I say that because generations of people have been entertained through many of his different talents, whether it was through movies, whether it was through television series, whether it was through music, duration or even video games the man's talents were boundless every generation would have a character that they loved a character he played that they loved and every generation could identify with a character such as that so for my parents generation they were known as Elia Kuryakin from the man from uncle for my wife uh, recognized him as the Invisible Man. For me, he's Steel from Sapphire and Steel. For the younger generation, of course, he will be Ducky from NCIS. It is a loss of a great actor, a great entertainer. I don't think we will see an actor of such talents rise anytime soon. It is a totally different society, a totally different time we live in now. So, of course, a great loss. Why I'm saying this on this particular channel, of course, the man's talents were everywhere and you will be surprised where he turned up. And of course, he did turn up in an episode of Babylon 5. It was the fourth ever episode aired of Babylon 5 in season one, naturally. The episode was called Infection. And it is, for me personally, it's one of the five top rated episodes of Babylon 5. And of course, Sapphire and Steel, which is my personal favourite. I grew up on Sapphire and Steel. Was it the late 70s, early 80s? Here in New Zealand, it aired on Wednesday evenings. And we would sit and wait by television, which at that stage, we were still watching on a black and white television. So that's going back fair ways. Shows you my age. Now, I was going to put a clip in here from Sapphire and Steel, but... When I uploaded it, the snotters who own the rights to Sapphire and Steel just won't let me do it. So I'm just going to put a clip in there from Babylon 5 from the episode Infection. Then be one minute of silence where I will have a, a list of everything he contributed to. Sorry, we had a little problem at one of the docking bays. Now, would you like to tell me what this is all about? I need your help. <laughs> Vance, you're an archaeologist. Everything you touch has been dead for at least a hundred years. My area of expertise is a little more current and a lot warmer. All in good time. Firstly, I'd like to introduce you to my assistant. Nelson, meet Dr. Stephen Franklin, one of the best students I ever had. Well, in the area of alien history, anatomy, and culture. A pleasure. Dr. Hendricks told me all about you on our way in from our dig on Ikara 7. Dick? You found something. Show him. It's funny. I just had an energy spike on my screen. Same here. What's the location? I thought it was around Med Lab. I'm not sure. It was just there for a second. Might have been a malfunction in the screen. You better run a diagnostics check to be sure. Will do. We were on a dig sponsored by Interplanetary Expeditions when we found these artifacts sealed in a vault buried nearly a mile beneath the surface of Ikara 7. It took us months to get them out. But Ikara 7 is a dead world. Yes, but don't you see, that proves what I've been saying for years, that Ikara was once home to a highly advanced spacefaring society. Extraordinary. How old are they? Minimum a thousand years. No chips, no sign of wear or age. It's as if they were made yesterday. What were they made to do? Well, that's where you come in. Oh, Fath, I told I you. I know, I know. Humor me. Put it in your medical scanner. Veins, capillaries, traces of DNA. Vance, this artifact is composed of living tissue. This is organic technology. The one trick that Earth hasn't yet been able to crack. 
the ability to create living ships that thrive in the vacuum of space, to create weapons that produce their own power through internal generation, like a firefly who lights up at night. The ultimate synthesis of machine technology and living tissue. Magnificent. I've lived. By God, Stephen, I have lived. 